guys, I hope you're all doing well. So, this is gonna be a long video. Get a snack. There's so much to talk about, so much to share. Griff misses you all. Um, so if you have been, I was gonna say living under a rock, but all of you have been under this rock, I moved. Um, I'm still actually in the process of moving, getting things out of my old apartment, but I have a new beauty room space, a new space. Um, I do have a moving vlog. I don't know. I think that should probably be posted uh, before this. I don't know yet, whatever. And you kind of know all the details of everything, what's going on, and a little special, uh, special news in there. Um, it's not a lot of, it's not drama or anything. I'm not pregnant, didn't buy a house, chill. But anyway, thought it'd be cute to share with you all. So, um, this is a, my first video that I'm filming in this space so if the lighting's off I have new lighting if the lighting's off I feel like it's too bright I, I don't know um we go let's bring it down a little bit we're gonna play um but I am gonna show you some things I think that's a little bit better I don't know uh the glare from my glasses is not helping whatever I think <laughs> uh we're gonna chit chat and um this is gonna be a haul so if you guys again it's been rough it is March um i filmed pretty much all the videos you're seeing up in into you saw up into like the second week of april i pre-filmed all of that and so in that meantime i packed the makeup room the makeup room was out of commission for like three weeks three almost a month like everything was packed up done um and i just got it back up together and everything there's going to be a makeup collection there's going to be a um tour like just it's, it's so much I'm very excited about all of it um but in that time I was still buying makeup and these new things been sitting around I've used a few things but um so this is a, ver a collective haul I'll try my best to tell you everywhere everything came from but uh we got Marshalls we have Ulta because 21 Days of Beauty is going on so we have Ulta Marshalls TJ Maxx kind of thing um beauty bay i did made an order at, uh, for mora beauty i did an order for ColourPop. i did an order for rude cosmetics but that did not come in yet um yeah so it's a mixture of everything this video is going to be everything except the lips um products and the blushes because i kind of went ham uh with blushes recently and i kind of wanted to give it its own video and then the lip stuff uh same thing um so this is be <laughs> everything else uh, and I just want to just chit chat and and get back into filming. I really like this setup situation. Uh, let me know your thoughts. You know, you can see the beauty stuff in the back. The only thing is everything's so much farther away from me. Uh, you know, my other room, my little corner nook in that room. Um, I was surrounded where I, I just rolled my chair maybe a few inches to get things out of drawers. Now I have to get up to get things that are over there if I need to. But I also have an area here. Like, it's, it's really exciting. Wait, wait for the tour. Wait for the collection. Um, the cats are here. We, 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 we ready to go. They have been all over this table. Griff has knocked the camera down twice. Um, so, yeah. Alright, let's get into sharing new makeup i am barefaced i've done my makeup once in this room so far just once in this room i've done it worked well i didn't film that but just to see my vibe and see if i need to switch some things around for convenience and efficiency sorry for all the adjustments in this video but that this is really you kind of don't know until you film one you know all right it's four minutes in and i haven't showed you anything okay let's get started some eyeliners here various places went to the dollar tree for i bought so many baskets for drawer organizers and la colors has these auto eyeliners standard dollar tree's 125 now dollar 25 cents now and i got four of their auto eyeliners retractable i well we know i love all things makeup but a good colored eyeliner can take you places and so this one's called green um which is not it's not but it's like a teal blue this uh this one's called blue the other was called purple and then um that one's called can, can we not can we not fight can we can we not fight can we not fight thank you um and the other one's called black <laughs> so we have some get up in here so we have some um yeah some retractable eyeliners i have not used these yet but 
Chill out. <laughs> this video all over the place. Okay. All right. Um, then I picked up so Milani's. Um, what is this? The matte eyeliner. It is wonderful. Um, this is the shade Espresso, though. This is a brown liner. This liner is, it says 17 hour. It lasts as long as I need it to last. It's super matte. It's it's a beautiful liner. I have the navy, and I ran out of the black. And when I, excuse me, went back to get a black, they didn't have any more. But anyway, I picked up the brown one. This is called um, Espresso. The thumping, the cats, they decided to get rowdy. Oh, we on camera? Oh, she pressed record. So make sure you <laughs> get this highlighter. I gotta keep moving, I gotta keep moving. Don't kill each other. Hey, don't kill each other. All right, so Morphe and Nyan did a collab. Um, I picked up the palette. I showed you guys the palette um, a while ago. I picked up the palette, but I didn't see these were always out of stock and I really wanted to get them this is the six piece color pencil set I kept this in the box um because I wanted to show you the box and they're called color pencils most people are going to use them for eyeliner but you can use them for different things on your face and everything like that um <laughs> and everything like that I cannot believe they do this as soon as I press record they've been so chill Oh my god. So these are sharpenable pencils. Um, they're kind of long, a little bit longer than your standard eyeliner. Really excited about that. And these pink pastel colors. You have pinks, peach, yellow. What are we doing? Yo. This is the most they fought since they've been here. I mean, they can't play for, like, yeah. But like, I press record and this is what happens. This is going to be a long video. This is going to be rough. Um, okay. So, really excited about these. Again, these are sharpenable pencil. They look like, like a colored pencil here. Um, but they're really soft. I'm lying. They're not that soft. They're not that dry either. But they're not like a, um, like a gel pencil. Like the ones that's in like the plastic casing. Um, this is a, a wooden pencil. But it's the softest wooden pencil I have come across. Um, so we have that whole set and I'm really excited to play with those. Really excited to get into that. Alright. No particular order. We're going to keep going. Like I said, I'm going to film the lip video and the cheeks next just to still, yeah, get some practice filming. I feel like I'm a little bit rusty. Alright, so ColourPop had, um, a couple collections well Colourpop has a new collection every day but um this is from the daisy sort of collection i picked up the uh super shock shadows i also picked up the blushes from that collection but i'm going to talk about those in a different video but anyway i picked up their six super shock shadows they came in three kind of super shock duos um so i'll just show them to you this one's called ray day oh i can't wait for you guys to see my collection because um I can't wait for you to see my collection because I have like five throws of color pop now and they're all on display and it's wonderful all right <clears throat> this next one is called entranced um so trying to make sure my light is balanced I don't feel like it is. I feel like I'm brighter here than I am over here, but that's what these tests are for, okay? Um, this is brighter, so maybe I'll up this light. Y'all. Okay, that might be a little bit better. Okay, what, 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 what? Okay. All right, the next one's going to be uh, Corsage. Um, these are really like pastel, sh um, springtime shades I think the darkest one in this collection is matte but let me open it up and see uh this one's called beloved beloved y'all remember that movie that was a uh interesting movie a really interesting movie okay uh this next one is called boutonniere boutonniere All right, and then the last one is called Water Me, and this is the one I think. It's a matte, so it's more satin. 
so yeah we picked up those single shades uh let's go to um eyeshadow palettes now let's do that because it's not that many surprisingly um yeah not that many so let's get into those this first one uh, these first two came from Marshall's TJ Maxx, one of the two stores. Um, this is the BH Cosmetics uh, BFF Eyeshadow Palette. Now, I saw this uh, in when it came out in Ulta and things like that. I think it was upwards of 20 something dollars. Cute palette, but it, was, it wasn't something that I was rushing about. I was like, oh, okay. But when it's in like, when it's seven dollars in Marshall's or TJ Maxx and you look at it and you're like, okay, that's cute for seven dollars and come home with me. So this is the palette, any, and I heard great things about this palette. I don't know the collaborators, uh, Laundra or Elsie, I don't know who they are, but um, I heard great things, really great things about this eyeshadow palette. And so, um, it's got a reflective. So, I went ahead and added it to the collection, okay? All right. This is another one that I wanted to get. I saw it and saw it and saw it. In Ulta, and I was like, I don't know why I didn't get it, but again, for a discount price, we picked it up. This is the Morphe and Avani Greg collab, um, and for the babes, and this is a bright, bright palette. The setup is a little interesting. It's nothing I've seen from a Morphe palette before, um, but you have these wonderful bright shades, absolutely beautiful. Um, and again, I don't know who Avani Greg is, but um, this is just screaming for me. So what this palette is, you have one, two, three, four, five, times four is 20, 20 eyeshadow, eyeshadow shades. And then you have these wet liners, which I didn't realize that's what they were um, until I got this palette. And so that makes it even more exciting. So they're cake liners that you wet your brush before, kind of like the Suva liners and pretty much everyone has some uh, cake liners or water activated liners on the market now. And you use that to create your look. I didn't even realize that's what they were. Um, I would have been bought this, but got it now. The next palettes, Beauty Bay came out with three new eyeshadow palettes. Beauty Bay is is the sauce. Um, and so I picked up all three of them. They came out with um, each palette has had different sizes, except the berries one. The berries one only the biggest size that it had was sixteen, and then they had a nine pan. But the other two have forty two. 16 nine pan I think so but um so I picked all three of those up but as a free gift with that order I got this brush up brows brow soap it's just a clear brow soap it's beauty Bay's take on the brow freeze um I don't own the ABH brow freeze but I have the elf one the elf brow stuff and I love it I use it with my brow routine every day um I like it I'm assuming the ABH works well I don't see my see a need to buy that one I have um the a one, one from Nika K from my beauty supply store that works fine I'm sure this one will work fine so you know it's there but let's get back to the palette so the palettes I'm sitting in front of a very large window and Griff really enjoys windows as we know and um, yeah <laughs> so he's all over it but the berries we'll start with the smallest one this is the berries um, let's get into that and this one is Pink Lovers. Pink, red, burgundy lovers. This is the biggest one. I don't know why they didn't offer a 42, make a 42 pan of the berries. I'm sure a lot of people would, would enjoy this. Especially for those romantic, romantical <laughs> themed looks. Um, I, I am sure. I haven't, I haven't used this one yet. One of these I have used and I am in love. Um, but that is the berries one and then we have the midnight one my blue and purple lovers this is a dream here this is called midnight beautiful packaging um, and this haven't used it yet either but this is your blue my blue and purple lovers there is a matte black here but everything else is giving equally distributed between blue and purple half and half here and we love to see it uh, these palettes have a mixture of finishes mattes um, shimmer, metallic, satin. If you, uh, glitter shades, few glitter shades, not pressed glitters, but shades with glitter. If you aren't on Beauty Base quality, you gotta get on it. This palette was $25. The berries, I think, was 16 
they're they're very very affordable and they always have some sort of coupon code or sale going on for the the quality is amazing this is the third one this is the earthy palette this is my favorite my favorite of all of them i've worn this one already it is wonderful i need to take a sip before i show you okay okay this is the earthy palette griff please don't knock that down although you will i know you will uh this is the earthy palette look at this my friends my friends can we get into this one can we get into this one i don't think i posted it yet um but i did a look with this it'll be on my instagram uh green cut crease with with golds with it oh y'all this palette is beautiful i'm loving these earthy tones it makes me so happy brings me so much joy so excited for these palettes so excited um and that's actually all the eyeshadow palettes that i've purchased since you know this whole thing um which is not bad for me not bad all right, moving on. Oh, no, did I show this? All right, let's get this last eye thing out of the way. I made an order from Warrior Beauty, and almost all of it was blushes, so I want to do a separate blush video, like I said. Um, but I did pick up as well. This is the, uh, they call it, hold on, take my glasses, the Prolong Priming Cream Shadow. And they kind of advertise it as an eye base. And they had a plenty of colors, um, different skin tone shades, but I got a deep brown eye base. And I think that's going to bring those chocolate, smoky eye, deep uh, shades, you know, bring those looks together. I don't have a dark brown eye base. I have black, but you don't always want it to be black. So I thought that was interesting to try. Um, so yeah, we have that. Okay, let's go on to face products. And then I think that's, yeah, the rest is face products. Let's get into it okay so i do have this face palette this was four dollars four or five dollars this is the collab with bh cosmetics and, and iggy azalea um and she did this like barbie girly themed thing and it's <laughs> this is her face palette called totally totally plastic no the i think the collab is totally plastic the name of the whole thing and then this face palette is called totally snatched let me get my life together so I've actually used this palette already. I thought it was just, I don't know. Um, I contoured with this shade. Um, I have set my face with, ooh, one of these two, I forgot. Uh, this one, I set my face with that one. Um, I've set the under eye with both of these before. It's okay, but it was four or five dollars. I think it was like 10 or 12, maybe pushing 15 when it came out, but I was like, you know, it was in Marshalls. <laughs> and I was like, I'm gonna get it. And so I did, it's cute and I got it, okay? okay 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 all right um let's go into um back to Mora really quickly i picked up they have this set and correct loose setting powder um and i thought this was interesting i got the shade deep so this is a set and correct loose setting powder but if you look at it it is three powders in one so they had again maybe four or five shades i got the deep um, and this, I picked this up, I didn't open this yet, I picked this up because, let me show you, let me tell you something. So, I color correct, um, and then I'll set my color corrector with powder under, and I put this on under my foundation and everything, and I set that color corrector with this e.l.f., um, setting powder, and it's in the shade Hint of Tint. They don't make this anymore, I've looked. They don't make it anymore and when I run out of this I don't have any powder that's that's that good tone um to set with I don't I haven't found a replacement yet so I thought this might be nice because you have let me see if we can get in you have a skin a deep shade my skin tone shade and then you have these sort of correcting powders and also um correcting is in the name and so I thought that one of these shades or maybe a combination of them would kind of match that tone that I'm looking for with that that elf powder and I thought it was a cool idea um and we shall figure it out so picked that up hope I explained that well a little rusty okay <laughs> all right and then I picked up 
um, some con new concealers. The first one is from Benefit. This is the Boing Cakeless Concealer. I like the Benefit. Benefit, the Boing Brightening uh, concealer is my, I use it as a color corrector, it's my favorite corrector. And so this is a new, fairly new concealer. This is their Cakeless Concealer. I only got one shade of it. Uh, the shade I have is Pep Talk 9.25. Uh, oh, I'm lying. It's not that new, but they put out new shades. I didn't know any of this, but um, I picked it up from Ulta. And so I haven't used it, haven't tried it. I tested it in the store. It seemed like something I would like. Full coverage. So we, we shall play around with that. Let me see something. If I have my glasses off. <laughs> I'm filming a video, but I'm also critiquing myself trying to figure this out. All right, the next ones I picked up, I heard great things about the LYS foundation and concealer. Didn't I get the foundation when I was in Sephora? Um, I might try it later, probably will. But I got the concealer. This is the Triple Fix Full Coverage Brightening Concealer. Okay, these are only $18. Um, and I picked up two shades. I want to try them. Did not try this yet. Just did not wear this yet. Um, beautiful packaging. Let's get into it get into it all right I picked up two shades I picked up TG5 and DG3 so like a skin tone and then a brightening shade um I do know Emily Noel 83 likes this concealer so we go we go and see we're gonna play around with it okay got the concealers out of the way uh let's get these sprays out of the way all right so from Mora Beauty I ordered their Lemon Boost Toner Mist now I use a toner every day I use my Lemon Edge toner and then I have a couple backup toners um but these toner mists they were so pretty they have like five or six of them um different different flavors fruit themes and this is the Lemon Boost and I don't think I've ever owned like a lemon scented facial spray before and so I bought it and it smells so good it smells like like I know this is gonna sound gross, but like putting on your face, but it smells like like lemon Lysol, <laughs> like not super chemically, but like clean. And I can't explain it, but I love that smell. Um, and so I still use do my regular skincare routine, but after I apply my regular toner, I've been spraying this, and it just smells so good. Um, so good. So this is cruelty free. Um, Let's read it. Cruelty free, paraben free, sulfate and phthalate free, and gluten free. Made in Korea. So, that's exciting. It makes me want to get the other, the other um, scents. It, it just, it makes me so happy. Those little things. All right, and then we have Cover Effects. Um, it is leaving Ulta, I'm assuming, or leaving the source the physical stores and all their stuff is 50 percent off so i picked up their mattifying setting spray i've worn it once can't really uh tell you anything because i don't remember but <laughs> but i picked up the mattifying setting spray i'm seeing that this light may be washing things out but uh the mattifying setting spray and so for half off i also picked up a blush but we're going to talk about it in the other video okay then uh, all these sprays came from Marshalls or TJ Maxx, one of the two. Um, this is the BH Cosmetics Paradise Set Mattifying Setting Spray. I do not know what collection this came from, but I see a mattifying setting spray and it was like $4. So we picked it up. Did not use this one yet. Let me know if you have any, any of these things I've been buying. Let me know how y'all feel if you got them. And then I picked up three more of the Milani, well three more, three of the Milani Make It Last when they came out with the fruit collection. I really like the Milani Make It Last setting spray and I have some different fruits. Don't have these. So we have blueberry, these were $3.99. Blueberry, cherry, okay, and then peach. Let's smell them. I have not smelled these. Peach. That smells like a peach. <gasps> It smells like a sweet peach candy. Blueberry. I don't even know if I can identify a blueberry scent. Oh my god, I can. It smells like a blueberry muffin. Oh, that's better than I was expecting. And now we have cherry, which is not my favorite scent either. Hmm. That's kind of light. That's kind of light, but they're all pleasing, which is good. 
Girl's gonna give y'all his butthole in a minute, okay? Y'all gonna get the butthole. Period. Okay? <laughs> My boy. I love you. I love you. Okay, I'm sorry. And then finally, we got some new Fenty products here. Well, new to me. They're not new. All right. So I picked up two of them. Y'all gonna be mad. Y'all gonna be mad. But I picked up the. I wanted to try her Instant Retouch Setting Powder, the Pro Filter Powder. I was gonna buy this a long time ago, and I was in Sephora, and I had this in my hand. I also had the Laura Mercier. Uh, translucent honey powder and I fell in love with that one and I was going back and forth and the work in Sephora was helping me out and he was like I like the Laura Mercier better and kind of that was the end of it and I bought that one that was the end of it but I was like I still want to try this one and so I got the shade honey um I got this from Ulta because you know Sephora, Fenty's in Ulta but I got the shade honey I was going to get the shade hazelnut as well because that's my skin tone like setting but I was going to wait and see if I liked it <laughs> I was gonna wait and see. Please don't. Oh god. Oh god. Hold on. He's going through the camera. The tripod. We about to have a catastrophe. Um. I'm almost done, Chris. I know you fed up with me. Um. So I picked up the shade Honey. Let me know if you like this powder. If this. Let me know. All right. Okay. Then I picked up. Oh, I'm so excited. The. Hold on, Chris. Welcome back. Um. I picked up. The uh, Sun Stalker Instant Warmth Bronzers. One of them I'm using as a contour, one I'm using as a bronzer. Um, so the one I'm using as a contour is the shade Thick Mint. This is the, the darkest shade that they have. Please don't get tangled in the curtain. Y'all, what is this video? <laughs> this, I've used this, I've contoured with this already. Beautiful beautiful bronzer but y'all know what I do and then this is uh, mocha mommy um, and this is I it's that I've used it to bronze already but I think I'm gonna use it as a blush a deep blush let's get it open and they're both matte and that pretty isn't that pretty okay absolutely beautiful um and so the last two I said y'all gonna be mad at because they were seven dollars. I found them in Marshalls, TJ Maxx, one of the two. Um, and I think I found one in Marshalls, one in TJ Maxx. I think actually, these are the Kilowatt Foil Highlighter Duos. I have not tried these. Um, and for seven dollars we will. And I got two of them. Well, the only two they had. I got Seven Day Weekend and Pool Slide. Very interesting highlighter colors. Hold on, let me put it up. Seven day week, perfect condition. Seven day weekend and pool slide. Is it pool slide or pool side? Pool side. I'm tripping. And then I got mimosa sunrise and sangria sunset. Uh huh. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Absolutely amazing. Seven dollars. I knew y'all was gonna be mad, so I ain't say nothing. Um, I ain't say nothing. <laughs> and finally, um, these I thought this was so interesting. So our beauty sponges. We have the regular size beauty sponges. They have like the big ones that Real Technique makes, the big ones. And then you have like the small mini. Beauty Blender makes mini ones. You have mini ones to do under your eye. This is the first time I've seen this. This is from Brushworks. I got this from Marshalls, TJ Maxx, one too. And this says midi sponge set. So they're not a full-size beauty blender, but they're not a super, super mini. And I'm going to hope, hopefully they're soft. I just thought this was so interesting. I got them on clearance for $5.50. Let's open these up. Oh, yeah, they're soft. But, yeah, look at that size. They're super soft. Look at that size. That's a good size. I think that would be good for me for concealer because the mini ones are just too small. Especially with my nails. They're just too small now for my concealer. But I thought that was cute. We have a mini a midi size sponge set. And absolutely wonderful. Okay. That feels really good to get that haul out of the way. So I need to talk to you guys about blushes and lips in the next few videos. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. Um, and thank you for uh, 
just being here with me. If any questions, comments, concerns about any of the products mentioned in this video, feel free to leave it down below. I love you all and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.